हेलो ऑल ऑफ यू एम ए ऑडिबल ओके सो टुडे वी हैव विथ अस मिस्टर जॉयदीप सर हु इज एन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एक्सपर्ट एंड एज यू ऑल नो द वर्ल्ड इज चेंजिंग एट अ वेरी फास्टर रेट एंड ए आई इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स that we as actually should know about and should develop some skills in so today i would like to honor joydeep sir who has taken out his time to basically give us insights and show some unique skills about artificial intelligence sir we are very grateful that you have joined us today for this amazing session hope so all our students benefit from this a uh, super saturday session that we have organized thank you sir and now you can continue thank you yeah thank you uh, what's your name you said am i audible yes sir you are audible yeah so uh, what's your name you said sorry i missed the name faculty what's your name uh, can you hear me pravin yeah so uh, pravin uh, all these students who are attending today they are all uh, graduates who are pre graduate students like uh, those who are in the second year first year second year and third year students right so uh, one quick thing i uh, i wanted to tell is that uh, during this session uh, it would be better the learning would be more if you all of you are interactive in nature and you can switch on your cameras even if you don't switch on your cameras it is better you be interactive and interact with me ask me questions then you will be learning more because i can just start the session end the session some of you will learn some of you will not learn my objective is that uh, actuator has given me the opportunity to train you guys in the most hot topic right now in the world globally happening is ai right and i am going to talk about that and i am going to show you practical insights it's not theory we will not do any theory over here it's all practical insights which you can start using right away after this session in your workflows that the workflow as a student that you are using right so again i would request all of you to interact with me the more you can interact the better learning you will get out of this entire session okay so just a quick uh, thank you uh, actuator for and praveen for giving me the opportunity to present to all of you uh, about ai i am basically from the eastern part of india only which is jamshedpur uh, so i have been to kolkata on a regular basis and right now i'm staying in hyderabad with my family and i run my own company called as think ahead with ai which is an ai based company and also i head a team of uh, e-commerce company which is the number one e-commerce company in the furniture segment in engineer wood furniture segment i head that company uh, the entire business and operation uh, so this is my current role and i have worked in the insurance industry like all of you are aspiring actuaries i have worked in the insurance industry for more than 10 years my last assignment was was with reliance life insurance company as a zonal head where i was taking care of agency channel uh, half of india uh, from mumbai i was taking care of north zone of india and the west zone of india for of the one of the rural channels in the insurance business so i understand the insurance thing which you all of are going to be working on in future you are the aspiring actuaries so let's jump into uh, the ai thing which we will be doing so i'll just share my screen and uh, start doing it is my screen visible yeah some thank you thank you so much yeah so first i'll showcase what are the things that we are going to cover today so we have around 2 uh, hours time and uh, first around 1 and 1/2 hour 1 hour 40 minutes probably we will i will showcase different things 
in between as i mentioned be interactive ask me questions so that i can clarify your doubt which can be more relevant to your context right and then last 15 minutes we can have a complete question and answer session okay so the topics that we will be covering today as is mentioned uh, by praveen to all of you i'm sure so these are some of the topics that we'll be covering depending upon the time frame because uh, again two hours it's very limited time to cover all these things but whatever we can cover as far as your learning perspective will go we will cover all this so how to use ai as a thought partner cio framework how to use agentic flow uh, basic data analysis and how to use ai for coding and then we can use a chain method calculation which all of you might be knowing right so we'll be handling some of these topics whatever is possible in one and a half hours of our session right now coming back to uh, the topic the first thing i would like to ask and and definitely i would need your help some of you may maybe one of you can volunteer and come live and then i i will have an interaction with you that will clear a lot of things which i am going to talk about what is ai specifically is is going to clear that concept first out in this starting of this session so that everything is clear to all of you and then we jump into the real world of using how to use ai right so i need one volunteer please uh, anyone can unmute and come one volunteer please anyone don't worry i am not going to ask any ai questions i am going to ask a very simple thing it will be a more of a conversation and that way we will take it forward one of you can you quickly one person volunteer anyone or then i have to pick a person i don't want to pick a person any one volunteer okay then i have to pick should i pick so let's pick chesta chesta you are there chesta pravin we have chesta over here can i have one person please i mean that's the minimum we can see the beginning itself we are not interactive how will you learn hello anybody so if it's okay uh, i can be the one to yeah kushi yeah okay kushi thank you so basically i why i wanted uh, you please keep your self unmute and then we'll have a conversation so that everybody can understand what exactly ai is all about right we all heard about ai but what exactly ai is right so so i have a very basic level of question suppose kushi tomorrow i ask you i just tell you that kushi this is the place i want you to build a house what you will do i gather the resources mm -hmm. and uh, hire contractors okay and uh, you know take the permits mm -hmm. any required so and okay. uh, see what the uh, you know the customer wants for like the infrastructure and everything and go for it mm -hmm. and start the production okay. process Basically. basically you are saying okay. you will start the construction right that's what you meant right? yeah 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 right okay thank you so now coming back to my question once again what did i ask kushi is kushi i want to build a house why don't you build a house right so this was the specific question that i asked and then kushi told me what are the steps she will be doing to build that house now there is a 
vague specificity in the question that I have asked to Pushi. I just told her, Pushi, build the house for me. I did not give her any information. No information was provided. I did not tell her where this house has to be built. I did not tell her whether this house is an apartment or this house is a villa or a, some other uh, type of house. Right? I did not tell her location of the house. I did not tell what is the blueprint of the house. I did not tell anything to Pushi. Right? So I only told her, please build me a house. And she told me what she actions she will take. Now, she also did not ask me that where I want to build my house and this following set of questions. She just told me the way she thought that and how should be built, right? That's how all of us think when we use AI, right? So suppose I have a task to do and I go to ChatGPT. I'm sure all of you must be knowing the tool ChatGPT, which has actually uh, transformed the entire world from 2022 November onwards. And from then onwards, everybody is using ChatGPT. But some of us know how to use the chat GPT. Some of, some of us doesn't know how to use chat GPT. Now, most of us doesn't know how to chat, use chat GPT, right? So this why we don't know to use chat GPT is for the simple reason is lies in this question, which I asked Kushi is please build a house for me, right? Now, I did not give any information. She also did not ask me any information. So both of us did not give any information. And the same way we use AI, we go to AI, we just tell, Please build me a house. And AI will build a house as AI thinks, right? Now, where from AI will get the information from? The AI will get the information from all across the internet, all across the computer data set that is the AI trained upon. And it will go and find out what are the different things related to house is there. And it will give you information which it wants to give you the information. It is not the information which you want, right? So that's how the artificial intelligence is. It's pretty simple. The more information you provide to AI, the better the response you will get from the AI. Okay, so so that's how this is our starting point. So please remember, friends, just like the example of making a house, right? Here we need to provide more and more of information so that the AI gives us the best of response. So so let's go ahead and start our first topic, which is how to AI use AI as your thought partner, right? So all of us use AI, but how to use AI as our thought partner? So again, coming back to the point that I have mentioned just now is providing as much information to AI. Now, all of you might be asking questions, how should we provide this information? Actually, what is the way to provide this information? We don't know how to provide the information. We might go ahead and provide an information in a way like again it will happen the same thing ai will go and search the entire internet the entire data set and it will start giving you information which is again might not be relevant for you as for the requirement that you have right so sir. let's understand hello yeah so hello yeah yeah so in case we yeah, log Richard. in and provide the data uh, provide chat gpt with a gmail uh, in that case hmm. it has our database right so then it can give us a good answer no, 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 no. Good point raised, Rishabh. So thank you for raising this point. I'll answer to your uh, question, okay? But for the time being, it is it doesn't have your information, okay? It will only have information. So the point which Rishabh was asking that if I have using my Google ID or Gmail ID or my email ID for that matter, will Chat GPT will have our information or not? Chat GPT will only have your information when you provide information to Chat GPT. If you don't provide information, Chat GPT will not have your information. Okay. So, so the point coming back to the point, how do we provide information to Chat GPT? Right. So there are different ways of providing information. We will see one way today, and that is a way you can use the AI tool in a much better way. Okay. So let's come back and use it over here. So I'm sure all of you must have used AI and you have used AI in your own ways, but you might not have used AI in the way I'm showing you today. But this is the right way to use AI where you will be getting the right way of information from AI. Okay. So how do I provide my information? 
now you can see over here in the screen uh, uh, is my screen visible to uh, everyone all are able to see my screen okay thank you so this is the codelet which you can use to provide information to ai i will show you how inside ai okay exact whatever text i have written you can take the screenshot of this okay and start using inside chat gpt or google gemini or cloud.ai these are the three main ai tools along with copilot okay we'll see all these tools today so consider the following context and reply i understand context i'll i'll do it with an example so you'll also understand at the meantime i am just reading it out context title but do not explain and then you give the name to your context which is begin context context and end context now for example i'll just take an example i'll open it over here inside the chat gpt so before opening so i'll just take you since i am associated with the e-commerce industry i'll just give you an example and you can do it with your own examples any examples okay once i explain you can ask me the question as well context template consider the following e-commerce industry so what i i did is i went to internet i went to economic times inside economic times i started searching about the e-commerce industry latest information whatever was available so i got an article inside that article this is the entire content which was there now i wanted to feed ai with the latest information on the e-commerce market what is happening in the e-commerce market okay so i got this entire set of information right so what i did i used context template consider the following you see it is the same what it is there in the top right then what i give a name now this name you can give as per your choice it is not necessary any particular framework you need to follow you can give the name as per the context of information you are providing suppose you are providing an information of an insurance product right so you'll give the name of that insurance product as the name suppose you are providing some data set you can give this data set which you are entering in the uh, chat gpt okay so i have given the same name over here also you can see the same name and then here also it is the same name and in the end also it is the same name right so now i'll go to chat gpt and show you this the same prompt which i have shown you it comes over here consider the following e-commerce industry in india and reply i understand so here i don't want any inf information or any task to be run i just want the ai to understand about my concept my context my topic which i want ai to understand right i don't want anything else here just ai to understand so that's why i have mentioned but do not explain. I don't want AI to explain me anything. I just want AI to understand it and that's all, nothing else. So I have written the same text, then copied the entire content from the Economic Times. So you can see even the, some of the other pages also are here, just entire content I copied, right? Some of the links are also there. You can add your any, suppose you are, you are trying to learn a particular chapter, right? So you are learning a chapter and that chapter, you want to understand it more, how AI can explain you. You can copy and paste the entire stuff of that chapter inside this, in the context, and then you can start asking question to that chapter, okay? So, so here it's all ended, end e-commerce industry India, right? So everything is ended, I understand e-commerce industry India, okay? So my thought leader part which i was trying to explain all of you is that now i have given ai the complete set of information which ai can take it up now and give me answers specific to my set of information the question that i was asking kushi is to make a house is irrelevant because i did not provide any information to her right at the same time she also did not ask me considering that first time we are doing a conversation so she did not ask me much of questions she told her process right now here if i am providing the entire set of information is the how the house is to be built so that has to be seen in this way right 
so now if i if i go and see over here again so what this ai did i understand e-commerce industry india right now as the next question what i am doing is i am the ceo of an e-commerce furniture company in india act like a business growth expert in the e-commerce industry and advise me on the five most compelling growth path of furniture e-commerce business in india right so now i am starting to ask very very specific questions about the e-commerce industry over here right this is very very specific question now it is giving me specific answers now what it will do it will go inside this data that i have provided over here and inside this data it will start asking me uh, it is start giving me relevant answers it will not give me anything it will not go to the global community of data that an ai is trained upon and it will start giving me some data which is completely vague in nature right so here it will give me a very specific set of data which i want very specific set of information where i want to work upon my very specific question is act like a business growth expert in the e-commerce industry and advise me on the five most compelling growth plan and it gives me five most compelling growth plan right so this is where how i make it work like a thought partner now can anybody tell me how you can use this concept in your own studies if anyone or anybody wants to ask me question how you can use the same concept we just i shown you in different ways anyone Yeah, Deepak, we'll do that. Yeah, Kaivan, please tell me. You can unmute yourself and ask. Deepak, I'll uh, come back to you. So, sir, uh, as you yeah. already mentioned, uh, yeah. we could use it in our studies as uh, some concepts or some topics that we're not... Uh, mm. uh, it we're not able to understand completely. If mm. Uh, mm. we can uh, harbor AI to give uh, AI that information uh, from passage be the whole chapter and uh, prompted to AI and ask AI questions, personalized questions, the topics that we could not understand and AI would uh, help us explain it in a better way so we yeah. can understand it in a smoother way. Yes, you are absolutely right, Kevin. So that is how we will be using AI. So basically what Kevin is saying that I'll term it with a particular term is that he is going to use the same concept as a use AI as a learning partner, right? That's what you meant, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, Harsh, you are right. I'll come back to your point. So yeah, so what Kevin is saying, thank you, Kevin, for uh, letting me know this point. So AI can be used as a learning partner for all of you on whatever topic you are learning. but Having said that, you need to provide specific set of information, context to AI, and then you make it as a learning partner rather than just making it as a learning partner. Now, coming back to the point which Harsh has said, that you can feed PDFs. Yes, Harsh, we can feed PDF. I am showing you one way of feeding information to AI. That is another way of feeding information to AI, where you are feeding an information in the form of a PDF. Suppose you have a chapter content, say 30 pages of ebook. You just take that ebook, upload it with AI, and then start asking questions to the AI. So thank you, Harsh, for uh, letting everybody also know about this. The other, since Harsh has said this, the other way of feeding information is that you can also just take a screenshot of a picture of something you want to know and you feed that as an information as a screenshot and ai will read it right so that is the other way of uh, letting ai know uh, about your context and then ask set of questions with ai now having said that coming back to the point over here so what we did is we feeded the information to ai and now after i feed the information these are again you guys can take a screenshot of this this particular nine essential prompts for your thought partner so basically these are what you can see over here these are all square brackets you just feed in your topic 
and start asking question to the information you have already provided to AI. So in this context, we have provided the information of the e-commerce industry, right? So here you will start asking questions about the e-commerce aspect. So these are generally nine different types of ways we can question uh, the AI content. So these are nine different ways. So you guys can take a screenshot of this and you can use in your, depending upon the topic that you are working. So you can use, you can summarize, you can explain, ask to explain, you can ask to analyze, you can ask to evaluate, compare, incorporate, advise, compose, right? So different ways of asking a question or getting a response from the AI, right? So this is how, friends, when I gave the example of the house, I meant that, AI also need very specific set of information, very, very, very specific set of context. Until you provide that, whatever you are asking chat GPT is of no use to you. It might look very good to you because you are a new user or maybe you doesn't know what you are expecting as an output. But AI is there for everyone. But AI will only give you a specific set of information what you want is by feeding in the right set of context. Once you feed in the right set of context, then the superset becomes the subset and it goes back inside that subset and gets you information from there. That is what the information which is which is what you are looking for. You are not looking for an information from the entire globe. You are looking for an information which you want to know, right? I am looking to build a house which I want to build. It has to be a blueprint has to be there. Without a blueprint, how a house can be built? It cannot be built. Suppose I want to build an apartment, it's a completely different thing than a villa, right? So that blueprint has to be there available, right? So this is very, very important aspect of making a house in the same way. This is a very important aspect when you provide the specific set of information to AI and start using it. Now, uh, Deepak, you asked us, we were talking about the same, we started with the same topic as how to make house. And then I came back with that analogy to the example of AI. And we discussed about how to use AI as a thought partner in the form of this code base here. You can use this. You can take a screenshot of this. And you can start using it by providing your information over here in this section. And you can give the name. The name is same. Everywhere you can see the name is same. You just need to provide your information and name and title over here and put in information inside this. And then you start interacting with AI with this set of questions or the questions that you want to ask. So these are the nine essential prompts which are universally used as responses to seek responses from AI. So these uh, you can use. Again, you guys can take the screenshot of this. right? Now coming back to the point of my question is that I was asking what are the ways you can use this? So uh, Kaivan told me that he can use it as a learning partner. Harsh said that he can feed information through PDF. What is the other way you guys can use? As a student, what is the most important thing you are looking for after you get get out from your college or once you are move ahead in your career? Any other ways you can use this one? Yes, Kushi, you can. Yes, Sai, Shreya, thank you so much. This is the point I was referring to, resumes. So <clears throat> you can feed in your information, feed in your resume by the PDF format or by the same way I have shown you today. You can feed in the your resume in the PDF or a Word document. Even you can feed in a Word document as well, right? Or you just copy and paste your resume inside the context thing and then start making your resume as well okay that is use number one you can make your resume using ai use number two you can give the job description you are looking to job for and what is the requirement of that job description so step number one you will provide your resume step number two you will provide your job description in the same thread, we will not change the thread. So what is a thread? Thread is like, this is one thread. The moment I open a new one, it becomes another thread, right? So this is the same thread inside chat GPT. You use the same thread. We don't go anywhere else. We were 
So first thing is we'll put our resume here. We can use this attach file and we can connect it, upload it from our computer or connect it to Google Drive or connect it to Microsoft OneDrive as well, right? And we upload our resume or we copy paste our resume inside the context uh, codelet that I have shared with you, right? Then again, what you do is you upload the job description, the job description that you have, you want to apply for. You apply the same job description over there and then you ask, start asking questions, right? Now the third use of it, what I said first, you can make resume. Second, you can get more information about the job description and what are the skill sets which is required whether your resume matches to the skill sets of the job requirement of the job description also ai will tell you and the third most important thing which you can use it for preparing for your interview right so after providing the job description and the resume you can even use the use the help of ai to prepare for your interview you can ask ai to ask relevant questions depending upon the job description that they are looking for and ai will ask you some questions which will help you prepare in advance for the interview right now what is another help you can take in the same resumes section i am telling you all different types of use cases of using this concept okay first we will we can create resume second we can upload the job description third we can it can help us in the interview process fourth it can help us in negotiating our salary as well we can have a conversation with that conversation we can negotiate even salary with the conversation so that when we go for the final round of discussions for our salary with the organization wherever we are looking to work we have already done the rest dress rehearsal of that discussion and now you know what are the things to say what are the things not to say because with AI, you have already done the dress here. So you are more prepared than you would have been prepared in the other scenario, right? So, and not only that, if you are using mobile uh, in terms of chat GPT, you also don't need to type this conversation. You can just discuss with your audio over the phone. There is an audio version is there inside chat GPT, even in Google Gemini. You can do the conversation only audio it sounds like you are in an interview process okay so these are the four different use cases i just explained to you in terms of how you can use ai as your thought partner right somebody mentioned that we can use for data analysis yes we, those all uh, use cases are there here i was talking about very very specific use cases so i was asking about those you can use this concept for any type of context information Till now it is clear, is it very complex or it is simple or it is all understandable for you? I want to make sure that everybody understands so that it get, you, you can get the best, best benefit out of it. This is the first topic that we wanted to cover. Uh, any question, anything you guys want to ask? Is the topics easy for you or tough for you or how it is? Is it understandable? You are able to understand very clearly. You can write in the chat as well because the feedback that will give make me also because I teach, I teach from a seven year old kid to a CEO of a company. So I teach at all different levels. And definitely I prepare my content according to the age and the requirement of the session, right? Okay, so we'll move to the next topic. <clears throat> right, thank you. Thank you so much. We will move to the next topic. Now, this topic, once you know this topic, then writing prompt is an art okay now why i'm telling you writing prompt it is an art i'll tell you another story here since i started with the story of baking a house i'll tell you a very uh, very simple story right so all of us know picasso right he's a great art person right picasso's drawings were 
the best in the world, right? So once somebody asked Picasso, you are such an expert, and asked him, why don't you draw a circle? Can you draw a perfect circle? Yeah. So Picasso said, OK, I can draw a perfect circle. So what Picasso did, he went to the drawing board, and he started drawing a perfect circle. Now, once that perfect circle was about to be completed, what happened is he did not complete the perfect circle. He just made a twist at the end of the point, end point. Okay. Then the people started asking him, you have made such a perfect circle, but in the end you have made it like this. Why? Why you have made like that? So he said that we all are individuals, right? All of us has an art inside us. All of us, all of you, I mean, right? Whoever is attending session, all of you have an art or creativity inside you. All of us do the same thing in a different way. If all of us start doing the same thing exactly the same, then the creativity goes away. Now, how the creativity comes? The creativity comes when we start thinking differently and do things differently, right? That's where the creativity comes. And that is why Picasso said that I could have completed, completely done the perfect circle, but I don't want I'm a I'm a creative person, right? I don't want to draw. I am a creative person. I want to be creative. That's why I want to do something different, right? I don't want to become like everybody else who just follows the instruction and does nothing, doesn't put up their mind, right? I put up the creative side of the things. So coming back, friends, all of you here today attending this session, all of you are creative in your own ways. All of you apply your own mind in your own ways in taking care of your jobs done, right? So let us think like Picasso. And the same thinking process we will bring inside writing prompts, right? Now, prompt writing is very easy. Like we go to ChatGPT, please let me know this. ChatGPT will give you an output. But that is not what is prompt writing I am talking about. What I am talking about, my prompts, I mean, if I talk about my prompts, my prompts are somewhere around, like if I, I show my own database, uh, just let me show you my database. You see the left hand side of my window, it's all prompts, 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 this, this side, it's all prompts, right? Like suppose, if I want to create a video, I have these many prompts to create a video. All different prompts. Okay. These are all different prompts. And none of the prompts are one liner prompts, right? So these are all big, big prompts. Suppose I want to. <laughs> Any process of the business, there is a prompt is there for me. In the left hand side, you can see all for if you have a product idea, what prompts to use. So if you I click over here, You'll see all the product ideas, prompts will be mentioned over here. You want to find your niche, all the niche related prompts would be here. You want to do market research, your market research prompt will be there. You want to do a brand story, your brand story related prompts will be there. Right? Any task in the business, see, I have all the prompts over here and all are different, different tasks. Like if I have to ma do marketing, I have the marketing prompts. These are all some. 1500, 1000, 1200 words prompts written, right? So, this is how I man manage my own prompts. So, the same way, how will you write the prompts? This is the first time probably you are attending a session, or maybe you have attended a session and you might have used Chat GPT. But today, what you are going to learn, you might not have learned how to write prompts in the same way, which I'm going to show you with the use of, and after today's session, any prompt you write, you can use the same framework, which I'm going to teach you now. The framework name is CIO framework. OK, so what is a CIO framework? Coming back to the CIO framework. OK, so here you learn few things, certain things which might look like complex for you. But I will try to make it very, very simple for all of you, wherever you guys are stuck. Please ask me questions because that is how you will learn more. That is how I will be able to make you learn more. And once you learn this, 
you will not find any find any difficulty in writing any amount of prompt any number of words of prompt any process any task you can write a prompt after this if you have understood this very clearly so what is the cio framework right the cio framework is the c is context which we already learned just some time back set of instructions so what are the in instructions we are going to give and what is the output i am expecting now you see over here i mentioned that i want to build a house i want to build a house i want a complete blueprint of my house right so until i give the complete blueprint of my house to khushi she cannot build the house right so it is not only that i am giving her the entire information what i am giving her information is like my house should be like this then i am saying my output of my house should be like this and then also i am telling her this is the set of instructions how to follow what to follow when you are building my house <clears throat> so coming back to the example of house itself we provide all the information inside the context in the form of information we will see one example over here then you will understand more then we provide set of instruction x y z instruction so in case of house we will provide go and take the approvals go and take this that whatever is required for our go take building materials from this shop go take tiles from this place go take walls from this place house is to be built in different stages first the core house will be built then the coloring will happen then the uh, bricks will be there then coloring will happen then then finally the interior will happen so all different stages will come inside the instruction and then the output is how my house will look like i'll provide the information the same concept we'll be using for writing prompts right so we will have three blocks one block is called context block other block is called instruction block and the third block is called output block okay and we will provide all the information and ask ai to act upon it now before going into this example of explaining the cio framework there are four other things also we will be doing is inside this is again you guys can take the screenshot please take your screenshot wherever you need screenshot please take your screenshot we will be learning four components like to make a house we need a core house first first we need the plinth area right the bottom part until we have the bottom part stronger the house will never be strong right so first we need that bottom part then we have the core house coming up with the bricks and then we plaster it and then we color it and then we do the interior portion right and then we do put tiles and other other stuff right so to write a prompt we'll also use other than the cio framework i just explained which is the context information and the output we'll also use four components inside that called as delimiters definitions don't worry i'll explain what is that markdown and handlebars okay so these are like that masala which is put up in the house the bricks the other stuff which is required to make a house these are like that what are these i'll explain okay so now i'll come back to the core concept of making this prompt again friends wherever you are not understanding please ask me question because with the with this you will understand how to write any type of prompt okay this framework i'm teaching you you can write any type of prompt whatever you want to to experiment with ai you can do by learning this process of how to write this prompt okay and basically prompt writing is an art it's a science and it's about understanding english very well right so if you understand english i did not say you speak english i said if you understand english or any language for that matter if you understand that then you can write prompt but for that like the example of the blueprint of a house only after seeing the blueprint of the house which is developed by the architecture architect then only the people who are working the laborers or the people or the engineers who are working they can make that house right otherwise they cannot make that house as otherwise everybody will come and start creating their own design but here we will have a defined process now here we will have an example in this particular case the example is we will use a framework 
so for example you go and buy a refrigerator or a tv or a mobile phone from a mobile phone company right so you every product electronic product that we buy most of the electronic products have a warranty period there is a warranty is there right how do you use the electronic companies how do they qualify that i am qualified for the warranty or you are not qualified for the warranty right that is the process the task that we will handle in this process okay so how do we do that so my prompt has three components this is my instruction component so i have put all the instructions over here don't go by what is written over here because for you your instructions will be different from the task that you are going to do here the prompt example is not important the concept is important because you have to use three things one the context instruction instruction is whatever you ask ai to do that is the instruction output is how you want the ai to showcase you the output that's a very simple okay so coming back here so here we have given the set of instruction here we are coming back and showcasing the four components that i mentioned right what are the four components delimiter definition markdown and handlebars okay so what is a delimiter this is my delimiter if you can see anything which is in the bracket so what i am doing is i am providing the information now context we have learned right now i am providing information inside this bracket right angle brackets when i am providing an information within an angle bracket and closing it so here i am closing the information right that is a delimiter that is called as delimiter this is where categories is opened closed and this is where categories is opened so what i am doing here i am providing the information of the category of the information that is coming as a warranty request for this particular company okay second is that is the delimiter what is the definition so here it is our definition right what is definitions definition is this one is definition what i am saying to start in between parameters so here i am defining the delimiter tax you will find parameters about which someone filling a warranty claim has to disclose information when filing a claim here after the parameter that means is when i am opening this as parameters and closing this as parameters all the information of my parameters are going inside this you can see there is an opening bracket and there is a closing bracket whatever the information is there inside this next time i call this i will call as capital p parameters and it will pull all the information from inside whatever we have written over here that is the definition what i am doing is i am giving a definition to the parameters and giving a name to it so that next time i can call this as a parameter right so this is how we call back as a parameter as a definition so this is my second part yeah yeah kaivan please ask sir uh, i had a little doubt as you said yeah, that yeah. Uh, next time any time you want to pull pull up those parameters and look at those mm. parameters or feed the parameters you will just write capital p parameters so sir yeah. will it be valid throughout all the prompts in your future or only that particular prompt that you are writing right now yeah so in this case so i'll i'll give you uh, so for example uh, let me take an example from you kevin if you can tell me what task you use do you use ai for any task sir as of now no as of now no so tell me you are in which uh, second year third year or first year so first year sir you are in first year so uh, have you learned any formulas in your uh, first year uh, sessions any formulas which you are using for doing some calculation yes sir okay yeah so thank you so what we can do is so to answer your question suppose you have you are in a particular chapter and there are some set of formulas are there right so what you will do is you will do say there are three set of formulas are there so formula a formula b formula c okay so what we will be doing is formula a inside one bracket so which is delimiter name is formula a and definition is formula capital f a okay similarly formula b so 
we we need to feed in that prompt with all the formulas because later on i am going to pull all the formulas to the to do the calculations for me right so first step is i will feed in the information of the formula so formula a is my delimiter formula a capital f is my definition then formula b is again my delimiter i put it in the tag and then i name it as formula capital f b capital b while i pull out that information formula c formula c is my delimiter and formula capital f and c capital c as my definition so when i do the calculation later in the prompt in the set of instruction we will provide some set of instruction to do the calculation so when i'll do the calculation that time i will not write the entire tag i will only write formula a into formula b suppose all the three has to be multiplied formula a formula b formula c suppose i will write like this i'll show in the screen here i'll just write like this formula a into formula b into formula c right i will not write any of those tags i'll just write like this and it will the ai will pick it up because i have already given a name as a definition at the top right so this is what i am trying to meet is it clear kevin to you now yes sir okay. thank you sir right yeah so moving ahead so we have given a set of instructions over here instructions doesn't have any delimiter you can see the instructions i have given there is no delimiter there is no definitions is there this is this section of my prompt is an instruction now why instruction i am giving entering first is if you all know that we first start with our end in mind once we have our end in mind we will be able to do the task better so whenever we approach a maths problem we first know that this is what i am going to find out this is what i have to find out then i have to give my inputs to get that as answer right so always set of instructions are given in the beginning because there the end is there we know what we have to do and we define it accordingly we set the task for the ai so that ai understands that what needs to be done right now coming back to the same example i'll show you inside the chat gpt okay yeah sorry yeah vaishnavi please tell sir will you please uh, show that uh, formula example practically matlab wo kaise hum prompt mein use kar sakte ha main ek aap log ka calculation dikhaunga so i'll show you there okay okay sir just after this explanation i'll show you okay, okay. so i'll go inside this particular prompt ah so let me first explain it and then i'll i'll get into that formula section so the third point is we are going to show the handlebars uh, handlebars and the markdown now all of you must be reading different newspapers all of you must be reading books so at the top of a book or a chapter there is a title right so that is a handlebar uh, so that is a markdown so markdown is this one so as you can see over here i have mentioned hash so one hash is this title if i mention it as two hash which is the subtitle and if i mention it as three has it is the topic of that subtopic of that particular chapter or topic subtopic of a news article or any article or a blog which you are reading or a chapter inside a book so that is how when we read something it comes in a very structured format so when you write prompts also it has to be in a very structured format so whenever i am writing the prompt i am writing in a very structured format so that they can use this the ai understands my output in a very structured format as well right so coming back to the output over here you can see i am also mentioning ai that you give me output in a very structured format here generates a clear title 
related to the submission and your assessment that less than 40 characters. So what I'm doing is I'm using AI to help me write the output inside this, which is one hash, which is the title. Next, subtitle. What is the category? So this is the category. OK. And finally, I have mentioned the subcategory over here. And then finally, I'm asking you please write, generate five sentences that provide insights into why you selected this category you did. Now, coming back to the example, formula example you asked, I'll come back there, and then we'll come back here again. So this is, I think, in it is there in your uh, second year or third year, I guess. I think third year, I guess. So what I did is, I am not an actuarist, so I am not trained on this. But since I keep training uh, aspiring actuaries, so one of the institute wanted me to put up their students with the concept that they are learning. So I have taken it from there. The source is there. So what we are doing here is we are calculating the reserves at the, this is the exact question as you can see, the cumulative incurred claims for the insurance company for the last four accident years are given in the following table. And how do you calculate the reserves using the chain method? I guess this is in your third year, uh, it is there. So how do you do that, right? So coming back to chat GPT over here, what I did, as I mentioned earlier, that you can provide and feed the information with screenshots. So what I did, I have taken the screenshot of this. You can see it over here. And I came here, OK? And I, what I'll do, I'll also show you this live as well so that you can see that as well. I'll again go back, take the screenshot. So there we were mentioning about writing the formula. Here I'm not writing anything formula. What I'm doing, I'm just taking it as a screenshot. Okay. Then what I'm doing, I'll just copy this. So I have I want AI to help me in calculating the results. Now, if you have to do this, you have to do a complete analysis in Excel and other ways. You have to put the complete formula. What AI is doing, it's calculating in a step-by-step -step manner every step of calculating the reserves for you. Vaishnavi, now it is clear how you can use formulas? Yes, sir. It's clear. So now you can give the formulas like this also as a screenshot or as a PDF or as the enter inside the prompt itself. Either way, these three different ways you can do it. Okay. Or you can also give an Excel file. You can upload an Excel file. We'll see that as well. Okay. So now what I have done is by doing this, this is giving me the complete set of information for calculating the reserve. How you can calculate a reserve by using the chain method. Right chain and ladder method it is there are three different methods of calculating the reserves are there i am using one of this method which is the basic chain and ladder method with using this method ai is calculating this particular thing now i will show you this in another tool as well now as a this is very very important for all of us to know that at the end of the day it is the human who is going to run the ai it is not the ai who is going to run the human right so here i am going to show the same thing to you in gemini app i'll come back here take the screenshot again <clears throat> so as an actually you should know how to do the actual calculation and then you come back and ai and use the ai right
So now it is giving the calculation. Now you see both the tools are approaching the same problem in a different, I mean, different flow, right? So you have to see which one is giving you a better output, the right way of output, and then you have to keep on probing and asking different questions because, as I mentioned, it is not what AI makes you run. It is you who makes AI run, right? So you have to see how you want to use. So you have seen the output in two different tools. Now I will show you in another tool. Okay. And all these are available free of cost. You don't need to pay a single penny, though I am showing you in the paid plans because I use it professionally. You can use it for in the free plans, all whatever actions you need to take. Most of the actions nowadays are available in different, different AI tools, free of cost also. So this is another tool called as Claude.ai. This is tool is being managed by uh, your Amazon and developed by a company called Anthropic. So the same calculation. So whatever we are learning today, you can use it any of these tools. See, now this is approaching in a different way. OK, so you guys can use Claude, Claude.ai. You can use Gemini, or you can use ChatGPT. OK, now coming back to another point over here. So another example is there. So quickly, I'll show any questions still here. So we'll go and see another example. Like suppose you want to calculate the insurance premium pricing. Again, this example is given by one of the uh, aspiring actuary, and then I have shown how they can do it. So generate an instance of the necessary data for a PNC insurance, which is property and casualty insurance, pricing calculation in JSON format with a few mistakes and missing values. So what I am asking is, please give me data in the JSON format, but do with few mistakes and missing values. So it gives me the information in the JSON format with few mistakes. Next question, what I'm asking is, OK, now fix any spelling mistakes and generate entries for any missing fields. So earlier, I asked them to have some missing fields. Now I'm asking it to correct all the spelling mistakes and also generate entries for the missing field. Now it again gives me another JSON data, which I can just copy and paste from here. OK, so it gives me the complete JSON data. And it also mentioned what are the changes they have made. Now do your best to compute premium based on the generated data. Now it starts generating the compute premium section for generating the premium for this set of data. Now again, just a disclaimer, I am not an actuary, so I don't know the exact calculations. But I know how to use this and how you can apply AI inside your learning process. Right. So this is a Python project. Again, Python calculations are created. right? So you can use those like this inside your program, right? Any question here? Till now, any question? So since this is a one and a half hour, two hour session, so I am running a little fast so that I can show you everything. So now we will see the data analysis part, basic level of data analysis. Or uh, yeah, before that, we'll see the flowchart, how you can create flowchart with AI. <laughs> Suppose you are learning a new process and you want to create a flowchart, how will you create that, right? <laughs> so just a second. I'll create in front of you probably this. Let us do it live. So this is an e-commerce process, a website which is selling t-shirts, right? So let us do it live. I just copy and paste the prompt. Act like a product designer and create a flowchart for the process of buying a t-shirt in an e-commerce store. What are the things will be there in the e-commerce store? Also, it is mentioned. So now you can just copy and paste and use a tool called as Mermaid and create the flowchart from there.
is create the flow chart flow design here as well. So I think it is not creating right now, but yeah, this is you can copy this, then you go to a tool called mermaid.ai, and there you can create this flowchart like this. So of course, I have to make a flowchart. It takes a lot of time, right? So I just come back over here and do it quickly, right? Now, if I have to do the basic Excel analysis. So what I did is I have given a data from Kaggle.com. I have picked up a data from Kaggle.com and I have given this data set to this. The data set is for an UK based e-commerce company, online retail company and that entire data set. Now you can see over here, unable to display the visualization. That means is this data can only be accessed when I am using it for the first time inside ChatGPT. Otherwise, this is not accessible. So that is a very important point to remember that when you are doing data analysis inside ChatGPT, now uh, that is only accessible. ChatGPT only can access an Excel file or a CSV file only during the process of the execution of that particular file. After that, again, you have to enter that or upload that data set again, or else it will not be able to give you the output. So this is an analysis which I did some time back. So I'll just show you. So this is the prompt which I have written, right? Now what it does is it gives me the complete set of information that it has taken care of, understood the entire data set successfully. And the data set includes all these things, sales performance over time, product performance, customer analysis, order cancellation, geographic analysis, bulk purchase, all this information it does. Now, what I'm saying is analyze sales performance over time, right? This is the prompt I have written, right? Now, what happens is when you upload a data, it also provides you prompts to ask questions based on the data that you have given. So either you can write your own prompts, these basic level prompts, or you it will also suggest you, you can just select that and it will start writing it. So here you can see it gives me the complete analysis a chart like some somebody I think was telling that we can plot graphs. So see here it is plotting the graphs over here. Now these are dynamic graphs in the sense these dynamically created. The data set changes, the graph changes. Here already the data is uploaded, so it is based on that. You can change some of these things like here you can change the color. Suppose I make it red, it will become since the data is already old, so it will not happen here now. But yeah, so this is how you can change the dynamic set of data, the colors from here. This is again, again, I said you can download it from here. From here, you can download the chart and include in your presentations as well. OK, so not only it gives you the graph, it explains you what is there mentioned inside this particular graph. OK, and it will give you the trend outline. Then I'm asking analyze sales trends for specific products. Now it is giving me sales trends for this specific product with different line graphs, taking the data from that Excel file itself, which I have uploaded here. So you can upload an Excel file. You can upload a CSV file, either both of them. OK. And you can also upload multiple Excel files. Okay? So it's not that only one Excel file you can upload. You can upload multiple Excel files. Now I am asking slow show monthly trends for cancellation. Now it is showing me the monthly trends for calculation. Okay. Then top selling countries. What are the top selling countries? So it is showing me what are the United Kingdom is it since these e-commerce companies from United Kingdom. So United Kingdom is the top selling countries. Then France, Germany, and some other countries. And it has given you top 10 countries which, where it is selling. <clears throat> Can you show me both total sales and total number of transactions each month in one chart? So it is giving me 
total sales and total number of transactions in this chart right so this is the this side it is the number of transactions this side is the total sales and this is over the year plotted over the year right so now if you have to prepare such charts with excel it will take a lot of time here what i am doing is i just upload the excel file and ask it to prepare and it will prepare it in no time maybe in seconds some 30 second 40 second 50 second it will prepare the entire chart and you just copy and paste and start using it but before that as i mentioned we need to validate the data now why you need to validate the data there is a very very nice case study is there the case study is of uh, one lawyer okay so what that lawyer did is in 2023 i think in somewhere around between february to march february to may that lawyer was supposed to, in us he was supposed to go and fight a case in the court law, uh, court and well, he was reviewing all his documents the previous few days and what he did is he took the help of chat gpt and started analyzing the entire stuff right and then post analyzation he prepared his own document with the help of chat gpt and he has gone to the court inside the court he has taken up the points which is mentioned and he lost the case not only he lost the case he had to pay a huge fine because he has taken the entire set of information from chat gpt and he went to the court without verifying those set of information okay so human verification is very very important in case of ai because there are a lot of hallucinations which happens a lot of information which ai gives that is why providing more information is very very important so you need to provide the valid set of information that is why now with those hallucinations he got some vague data vague information and he fought the case with those vague information you can go and search in the internet you'll get this case right <clears throat> and he went to the court he lost it now as a co as a lawyer he should not have done that but he has done that right so similarly whenever you are working with ai don't just go take it copy it paste it and start using it please verify the information okay verify whether it has given you the right set of information or not that is the very very important step you as a user because that is why generally what is being told across the industry everybody is saying that ai is going to replace people ai is not going to replace people why ai is not going to replace people is because ai has to be run by a person people are going to run ai it's not the ai will run the people so until you do keep the verification process in line otherwise ai is of no use okay so that is why the people are most important part of the ai human interaction is mandatorily required so verification is very important so that is why whenever i am using this analysis as well i need to see whether the my data that the data set that i have put up in the form of excel whether this chart is correct or not you just not carry it, take the picture and run away with the chart right you have to verify the information so till now any question and then i'll show you the coding part how you can use all of you are learning coding are you guys learning coding what you are learning in coding python or r or java okay 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 python also you guys are learning okay right so you guys can use ai to learn coding as well in a very easy way it will help you whatever you are learning in your session with your teachers come back use ai to learn more right how you can use it we'll i'll show you So I am not a coder, but since AI is there, I am able to help. <coughs> Just a second. <coughs> Before I go and explain this, I'll show you something. 
since all of you are learning python i want this to go away so this is a very basic python code so what i did is what is the error in this python code i have written it over here i have provided the code length equal to 100 if length is greater than 100 print long else if long length is greater than 80 right there is no error in the provided python code it will run without any issues here how it works so now it explains me that this code has no error suppose you are writing a code and you are learning it for the first time you can use ai for this purpose where you can come over copy your code whatever you have written in the code editor and come back over here and you can start testing whether your code is correct or not or if there is any other way of writing the same code in a better way right so you can use it that way that is one use case now another very nice use case is and all of you can use that with google gemini this use case is available with gemini okay length equal to 100 if length greater than equal to 100 so this is another code it has given me the output right now you can test python codes inside gemini okay so here it is if you click on this it will run the same code it will show you the output of that particular code here within this editor itself okay Code successfully executed, the output is long. You can see it over here, right? Now, not only that, you can edit this code as well. So, for example, I'll just make it longer. Okay. Now, run the code again. Code executed is longer. See, this is a very beautiful tool to utilize gemini advanced where you can not only test your code you can test your code you can run your code you can edit your code and again retest your code over here itself within the gemini platform itself okay so this is a very beautiful tool to use for coding purpose where you can as i mentioned you can test your code you can run your code you can test whether the code is correct or not and you can also ask whether the code how to write this code in a different way or you can simply come back and ask please write the code for me right so this is a very beautiful tool you can use for ai there are other tools as well even chat gpt also is a very good tool for ai and cloud.ai is also a very good tool for uh, coding but I find this very easy for people like us. I am not a coder. So for me to learn Python, it is very easy. I come back over here. If something, some concept I am not understanding, I come back and I copy and paste it over here and I start asking to the AI, right? So here, can you provide more examples of conditions? Then see, then it provides me more example of conditions if I want to learn conditions, right? So it is giving me all different types of examples of conditions you can see over here right multiple conditions okay. so this is how you learn more about that now coming back what are the other use cases of coding you want to set up coding for uh, your use cases so you can do that by using this co uh, prompts where you want to learn a particular language you ask ai with that particular language and you, it gives you all sorts of information related to that particular language so again if i come over here i'll show you in the chat gpt so you are a coding assistant gpt an expert in various programming languages and problem solving techniques i want to start coding in python guide me on the best ides to use so here you can see the different set of ids that is being used over here to help me learn about python now my next question is and it gives me all the uh, things i need to install all those things it gives me the first program also hello world program okay my next is 
I want to use AI for debugging. So here I have put up a code inside this, and I am asking it to debug this particular code. So now it is giving me the corrected code over here, and it explains me what is the error that I have mentioned, and it is giving me the corrected code here. So you just copy and paste and use it inside Visual Studio Code or any other editor tool that you are using to write the, and it gives you different versions of this. Okay. Next is I want to use for understanding different frameworks of writing the prompts. So here I am giving a particular framework and it is asking it to write in a different way, asking it to give even comments as well, and then it is giving me all the different things. It is giving me comments. It is giving me the complete code over here. I just copy and paste inside the editor and start writing my code, right? That it is as simple as that. Another use case is how you can improve your code. You have written the code in a particular way. You want to write in a much better way of writing the code. Come back here, use this particular prompt, ask ChatGPT, give the code, ask ChatGPT to improve the code for you, and then it will start providing you what is the optimized way of writing the same code in a different way. So this is how you will learn all these different aspects of using AI. I think I have covered most of the uh, topics. So I'm here for more or less a question answer uh, scenario with all of you. And uh, I'm ready to answer your questions. Yeah, Kushbu, Vaishnavi. Yeah, one by one you can ask, yeah. Kushi, you can ask. Uh, so what is the method AI follows uh, for filling missing values? Yeah, so filling missing values is you can use the two handlebars that we have seen, right? Here, this example, if you see it. can take the screenshot of this and use it in your use case. This one. So these two handlebars, this is my missing value. This section is my missing value. OK? So, so I want screen. AI to, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Thank you. I removed the screen share. Uh, you can see now? I guess. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah. So this within these double handlebars, right? I am asking AI to fill in this information. Here, generate a clear title related to the submission and your assessment less than 40 characters. So I am asking AI to fill in this position. Again, I am asking here, here double handlebar, identify which category you selected here. So it will pick up the category, right? And then I'm asking here, generate up to five sentences that provide insights into why you selected this category, you did. And then again, handlebar closes. So you can use this open handlebar, two handlebars, and close two handlebars, and write your instruction, then it will fill up the information. So you can take the screenshot of this particular section, OK? And use inside handlebar whatever your task is, what you want it to fill it up. Does it answer your question, Kushi? Yes, sir, it does. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You can take that screenshot. Yeah, Vaishnavi, you can go ahead. So it's a very basic question I have. Uh, sir, yeah, uh, whenever yes. I'll be using the chat GPT for mathematics, especially, hmm. I get hmm. the, uh, the answers in like very descriptive form, matlab text form, mein milta hai, sir, answers. So, hmm. Hmm. Uh, now I want to solve uh, any trigonometry based calculus. मतलब मुझे वो बहुत text form में आता है, which is मतलब मुझे understand नहीं होता sir. I'm not able to understand what they be given. So how to overcome from that, sir? वो math mathematical equations based भी नहीं रहता है. हम्म. So how do you ask the question? That is very important. हाँ. How do you ask the question? I'm asking you. 
I'll be having uh, I have one compiler, sir. In that questions will be there. Like it is, it will be in the proper way. So I'll just I'll yeah. scan that and I'll put it. Uh, मतलब image hmm. insert करती हूँ sir chat GPT में. Okay, okay, okay. And then it gives you descriptive means you mean it only gives you text. It doesn't give you output. It doesn't give you the explanation. Nothing. It gives me explanation in the text format. मतलब वो hicks वगैरह use करके it will give me the hmm. answer, sir. Like Hmm. Uh, so how do you want the answers to come? Sir, so, uh, like how we'll solve in the books, like uh, equations. अगर अभी formula लिखते हैं तो उसके बाद a proper hmm. fractions a by b from ऐसा नहीं रहता है sir. They use uh, the course like uh, hmm. uh, bars hmm. they use and they write fractions uh, in uh, like that mathematical typing they use. हाँ लेकिन अभी जो हमने ये कैलकुलेशन किया आपने देखा ना हमने जो चेन uh, मेथड का कैलकुलेशन किया डिड यू सी दैट दैट सर दैट्स व्हाई आई आस्क द क्वेश्चन दैट हाउ यू डिड यू गेट दैट सो यू हैव टू हैव अ वेरी स्पेसिफिक सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन लेट मी कम बैक देयर अगेन गो टू चैट जीपीटी see what i did is very simple line you have to add okay please use the chain ladder method to calculate the reserve at the end of the year of 2008 using the base basic chain and ladder method and you add over there in a step by step manner you add that line step okay, by step manner so one once you add that then the calculation it showcases to you in a completely different way like what yes. i did here please explain the calculation in step by step manner make it easy to understand as if you are explaining a grade 9 suppose you you want to understand at the level of even grade 6 you write it grade 6 so then chat gpt will start explaining in a very basic way like you asked me right so this is a very basic question i want to ask right now this basic question might not be so basic when you were in grade 10 right this might be basic question now but chat gpt also understands the different level of intelligence because it has been trained with all types of data set so when you ask chat gpt or any ai tool for that matter in a very specific way like explain me in a step by step manner use these words and make it easy to understand as if you are explaining a grade 6 student or grade 9 student grade 8 student then it will explain you in the way then obviously it has to tell you in the way you want the output to come okay sir thank you yeah any any further questions Yeah, Jayvish, please go ahead. Yes, sir. I have two questions. Yeah. So first, I want to ask that the graphs you have shown that are only available in ChatGPT 4.0. Oh, they are not for mm. the basic features, right? Yeah. Yes. And yes. there is limit in uploadation of documents and using the thread for the same. Yes. 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 So, sir. Yes. उसके लिए लाइक देर आर ओसीआर अवेलेबल इन इंटरनेट दैट कैन कन्वर्ट द पीडीएफ टू टीएक्सटी सो कैन वी यूज दैट टू फीड इन द डेटा एंड वी कैन यूज सी आई आई विल टेल यू जेवी सो डिपेंड्स ऑन व्हाट टास्क यू वांट टू डू यू हैव टू फाइनलाइज द यूज केस राइट सो सम ऑफ द थिंग्स एज क्वाइट राइटली सेड बाय यू दैट अपना फ्री टूल्स में अब तो फ्री टूल्स में दिस सब्सक्रिप्शन नहीं लेने से देर आर लिमिटेशन आर देर राइट यू कैन यूज सो मेनी टाइम लाइक यू कैन सी ओवर हेयर क्लॉड आई डोंट हैव दी पेड वर्जन ऑफ द क्लॉड बट आई एम यूजिंग इट सो आई डोंट यूज इट टू मच बिकॉज मेरे को उतना जरूरत नहीं पड़ता मैं दिन भर में अगर दस प्राउंड भी लिख दू मेरे लिए क्लॉड के लिए काफी है सो दैट मच आई गेट इन दी फ्री एक्सेस बट इन जेमिनाई एंड चैट जीपीटी आई हैव दी पेड वर्जन बिकॉज आई एक्सटेंसिवली यूज इट सो आई यूज द पेड वर्जन दैट्स वाई आई हैव सब्सक्राइब फॉर इट for you it might not be relevant to take a paid version yes. but if you are using any specific scenario you can subscribe and then desubscribe next month as well 
राइट सपोज आपको एक बहुत सारा कैलकुलेशन करना है उसके लिए आपको चाहिए एक पेड वर्जन विच यू कैन ऑलवेज टेक इट अप बट जो कैलकुलेशन मैंने आपको अभी दिखाया इन दी एक्सेल एनालिसिस दैट इज आई थिंक यू विल ओनली गेट इन पेड वर्जन इवन इफ यू गेट इन फ्री वर्जन वो देर आर सम ए आई टूल्स आर देर कॉल्ड एज न्यूमरस डॉट ए आई एंड सम अदर ए आई टूल्स आर ऑल्सो देयर इफ यू सर्च इन द गूगल यू विल गेट इट दो टूल्स डस सम लेवल ऑफ डेटा एनालिसिस विथ एक्सेल एंड गूगल शीट्स बट देन अगेन उसमें भी वही लिमिटेशन रहता है कि आप दो चार यूज केस के बाद उसको और नहीं यूज कर पाओगे सो सो देर इज अ लिमिटेशन बिकॉज दो थिंग्स रिक्वायर लॉर्ड ऑफ डेटा एनालिसिस राइट सो इवन द ए आई टूल कैन नॉट प्रोवाइड यू विद फ्री फ्री स्टॉप so like i am mainly using chat gpt for a month now for the economics i am mm. studying for actuarial science so yeah. i have uploaded the pdf if you mm. want i can share the screen like usme maine mm. pdf shared kiye aur pucha mm. bhi hai ke do you understand the pdf mm. to usne mm. ha bola lekin baad mein aage usse samajh nahi aaya matlab main usse kuch question kar raha hu to wo kuch aur hi answer kar raha hai jo bilkul bhi relevant nahi hai ठीक तो है तो आप एक आप आप हो सकते हैं आप स्क्रीन शेयर करके दिखाना चाहते हो इफ यू अलाउ यस सर यस यस डेफिनेटली गो एड यू कैन शुड आई स्टॉप प्रेजेंटिंग यस हो गया सर लेट मी नो इफ इट इज अजिबल करो आ रहा है अभी इट इज कमिंग सर जैसे ये मैंने आर प्रोग्रामिंग की एक्सरसाइज के सॉल्यूशन और एक्सरसाइज है तो मैंने पूछा कैन यू अंडरस्टैंड द पीडीएफ तो उसने हाँ बोला बाद में मैंने कंफर्म करने के लिए वापस पूछा क्या टेल मीन फोर्टी वर्ड वोट इट इज और उसने वो भी सही बोला लेकिन जब मैंने क्वेश्चन एक्सपेक्ट करने को बोला तो सर ये सी के रिलेटेड कुछ भी नहीं है एक मिनट एक आप आपका थर्ड वाला प्रॉम्प्ट मुझे दिखाइए एक्सट्रैक्ट क्वेश्चन टेन पॉइंट वन जस्ट अ सेकंड वेट ये सेकंड अंडरस्टैंड में पीवी वो प्रोटेड हाउ कैन आई एसिस्ट यू विद देम पीवी भी कोई ना नहीं जैसे कि शॉर्ट सीएस एक्चुअल से नहीं जाम बिकॉज़ क्या नहीं जाम कलेक्शन ऑफ एक्सट्रैक्ट ओके नाउ एनर्स ह हाँ सो सी यू आर आस्किंग वट इज द पी डी एफ साइज कितने कितना डेटा है हाउ मेनी पेजेस आर देयर इन द पी डी एफ वो नहीं पूछा नहीं आप जो डाले हैं आपको पता होगा ना कितने पेजेस है आई डोंट नो एग्जैक्टली ओके फाइन सो यू हैव टू राइट स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन you are asking extract q10.1 it might not answer because first you are using the free tool okay free tool ka bhi limitation hota hai okay right so aapko specific kya pooch rahe hain usko aap yahan pe question karke pull kijiye inside the pdf mein jo hai na you have to give you specific information then it will be able to pick pick it up okay even in this one you can even try with cloud also cloud pdf reading is better than chat gpt's pdf reading cloud dot ai have shown you right you can yes, try sir. with cloud also but again there are also you, i think up to five questions you can ask after that you cannot ask with the free version but then yeah i i think yeah, it pulls out data jv because you are asking you are giving extract q10.1 and chat because first of all you have a limited connection in chat gpt it's not the plus one plus version so it will give you limited responses and it will not be able to pull like the way you have written extract q 10.1 you have to give the question probably and then it will extract okay sir okay. and one more thing yeah, sir will... yeah tell me yeah. in the another thread i would like pura maine model ki tarah kiya hua hai ke jo main prefix aise use karu to यहाँ पे जैसे लेस देन बेटर देन वाला सिंबल है तो उससे मेरे को ये फॉर्मेट में आंसर देगा और मैंने कोलन यूज किया तो दूसरे फॉर्मेट में आंसर देगा तो सर ये इकोनॉमिक्स के लिए मैं यूज करता हूँ तो वो काफी वास्ट फील्ड है तो पूरा इंटरनेट से सर्च करके ये मुझे देता है 
लेकिन उतना मेरे को इन्फॉर्मेशन रिक्वायर्ड है नहीं तो इसके लिए मैं पूछ रहा था कि ओसीआर से मैं जैसे चैप्टर वाइज में ऐसे एक एक थ्रेड बना दू कि चैप्टर टेन के लिए मुझे जैसे चाहिए तो उसमें उसका टेक्स्ट पूरा मैं डाल दू पहले कंटेक्स की तरह और उसके बाद ये यूज करूँ तो वैसा ईज पड़ेगा कि नहीं होगा सर मेहनत पड़ेगी ज्यादा सिर्फ वही होगा नहीं नहीं आप पहला बात है आप जैसे प्रॉम्प्ट लिख रहे हो वैसे एआई काम नहीं करेगा आप लिख रहे हो कंपटीशन पॉलिसी तो आपको कंपटीशन पॉलिसी दे रहा है बट देन यू हैव टू राइट स्पेसिफिक प्रॉम्प्ट्स ओके यू कैन नॉट राइट जस्ट वन वर्ड प्रॉम्प्ट्स व्हिच विल गिव यू सच आंसर व्हिच विल गो टू इंटरनेट सर्च इट एंड गिव इट टू यू इफ यू वांट स्पेसिफिक थिंग्स अपलोड द पीडीएफ चैप्टर वाइज अगर पीडीएफ का कंटेंट उसमें है आप कॉन्टेक्स्ट की तरह उसको अपलोड करो अपलोड करने के बाद स्पेसिफिक चीज को पुल करो वो आपको आउटपुट देगा अगर आपको चाहिए कि आपका ए आई आउटपुट इंटरनेट से भी पुल करे इफ यू वॉन्ट योर ए आई टू पुल योर आउटपुट फ्रॉम इंटरनेट देन यू गो टू अनदर टूल कॉल्ड एज परसिटी डॉट ए आई परसिटी डॉट ए आई इज कनेक्टेड विद दर्च इंजिन दैट इज द फर्स्ट टूल इन द वर्ल्ड ए आई टूल इन द वर्ल्ड विच इज कनेक्टेड विद द सर्च इंजिन इट गिवस यू लिंक्स इवन ओके इट गिवस यू आउटपुट विद द लिंक्स एज वेल सो सो द वे यू वॉन्ट टू यूज इट यू विल twist the tool and use that particular tool and don't write this one word prompts because it will give you output as i said in the beginning ki ghar banana hai ye ghar bana ke dega aapko lekin wo ghar aapke liye nahi hoga right jo aapke liye chahiye to aapko wo specific set of information dena padega matlab sir wo okay. jab check beech mein chalu tha tab maine pura wo prompt likha tha ki ye main prefix hmm. karu to mere ko जैसे सीबी टू एग्जाम के लिए मैं कर रहा हूँ तो सीबी टू एग्जाम आई एफ ओ एस है इसके लिए ये सब है वैसा मैंने प्रॉम्प्ट लिखा हुआ था तो मतलब वैसे वो यूज होगा तो चैप्टर वाइज अपलोड करने से इजी ज्यादा होगा ना यस 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 इजी ज्यादा होगा डेफिनेटली होगा तो आप वैसे अप्रोच कर सकते हैं ओके सर थैंक यू थैंक यू या हर्ष यू है Uh, sir, I wanted to ask that uh, uh, the question is not related to actuaries. So uh, mm. I have been working as an Android app developer for the past few years, mm. and uh, I am facing problem with uh, what do you call it, uh, prompting Chat GPT. Mm. What kind of problem so you are facing? So uh, I can show my screen and show you, and you can suggest me ways to improve it, right? Uh, yeah, yeah sure. Yes, yes, absolutely okay. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, my screen is visible, right? Yeah, I think it is little bit blurred. I don't know whether I am seeing blurred or. Yeah, this. That GPT screen is older. Yeah. It is it is blurred? Okay. Anyways, you ask the question. So what I do is I uh, copy and paste the log statements. Uh, the errors which I get uh, into the mm. chat GPT directly, right? Mm. For example, mm. this uh, this is this was my prompt. I will share. Uh, mm. So this was my prompt, right? So uh, how mm. can I improve my prompt basically for debugging purposes? But you have prompt was given, right? You have just written the code. Ah, yes, I have yes. seen, I have seen mm -hmm. your prompt. I mean, what you have written in the chat box, but this is not the prompt. Huh? This is just you have copy pasted the error and you have put it over here. So the thing you is that not, I have write. So you the have to give specific. Ah, huh? so you have to give a very specific set of in task instruction to the AI to write it for you. What is here you are trying to do? You are trying to debug, right? So here set of instruction for AI uh, over here is debugging. So if you are debugging, then you have to write a set of instruction to AI to debug. What is the goal? What is the end in mind over here? Your end is see what you are doing is again that example of making that house. I'll come back over there. I want to make the house. I'll just say to AI make the house for me. AI will make it a house, but it will not be relevant for me. So, so what you are doing is you are just copy and pasting the code error inside over here. 
and not giving any set of instruction specific instruction so you need to give the complete set of instruction that is one second what you might be doing error is can you show your chat gpt screen once again sure is it visible can you uh, can you go up you are at the top right yes sir. can you go down can you go down i can't see the screen moving can you come down yes i am scrolling actually your screen is freezed harsh i there is no change uh, it is not changing uh, i should can you re, 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 re share again stop share yes, and re share yes yes Okay. Now is it moving? Mm, can you pull out, pull down the cursor? No, yes, I think sir. your screen is free, freezed somehow. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, I'll I'll explain you. Okay. So, what happens is, suppose you are writing a code for a particular tool or particular software, right? The mm -hmm. thread has to have the all information about that particular software inside that thread. Remember that. Don't change the thread. for even debugging use the same thread for debugging suppose for example you are writing a code today right and you have some error suppose you did not test the code today you tested it after 3 days from now okay then you come back again and you see the code there is an error you want to uh, check whether where is the error you test the error in the same thread which you have used 3 days back don't come back and start a new thread got Because it if you are using the same thread the ai knows what you have done earlier otherwise again you have to train the ai about your information okay, okay sir the so final the, question that yeah so the final question that i want to ask you is that uh, you mentioned yeah. that uh, you are running ai startups and everything so mm. uh, in your opinion what is the best uh, like i've tried cloud i've tried uh, chat gpt and everything uh, mm. I I am willing to go for a paid subscription as well uh, for any uh, specialized software. Which is the best coding, uh, uh, debugging, or you know programming software that you can uh, recommend? Uh, Chat GPT like. See, right now there is a huge competition is going on between Chat GPT, Google, uh, Gemini, and your uh, this cloud. Okay. every 15 days one month they are launching some sort of new feature which is an advance for the coding purpose okay like i have shown you the example of gemini right they are allowing you to run the python code inside the ai tool itself right cloud has launched a new version where it is showing something called as artifacts which is showcasing the entire output how it is created in the right side of the window and it shows the output if you are using the paid version it is showing you better right chat gpt obviously has the best logical flow of uh, output uh, and recently i think last 4 or 5 days back they have launched a version where coding they have improved it further so to answer your question you first need to use the free version of all these three platform see where you are getting the best output and based on that you can subscribe the paid version okay. since see oh, now i i will answer i'll answer to your question in a another way is that i have subscribed to chat gpt i have subscribed to gemini i have not subscribed to cloud right so why i have not subscribed to cloud is because for the business requirement so i am into business right so i have business requirement so for business requirement i don't need cloud so much whatever 10 15 prompts i need in a day i can use it in the cloud and it is in the free version so i don't need the paid version but if i need to write content okay cloud is better than G google and it is better than chat gpt for any kind of content writing cloud is the best okay because it gives a more humanized content than chat gpt or gemini google okay so if i had to write lot of content i will subscribe cloud and i will use cloud for content writing because i have used all the three platforms i know which one is what okay sir so uh, that's all for my side i think from for coding purposes free platform cloud cloud is the best one i think yeah yeah yeah. So, yeah yeah so thank you thank you harsh thank you for asking the question
Any questions? Any more questions? No more questions? Yeah. So, Praveen, I think. Uh, uh hello yes sir yeah. so we would thank you for giving us such an amazing session on ai today it was really engaging and helped us understand the topic much better thank you once again for being here and making this session so valuable it was a really very amazing session and informative thank you so much thank you thank you to everyone thank you